Hello everyone, I am Thurn Beauty 2018 and welcome to Eyebrow Wig Tutorial Part 2. So if you saw the last tutorial, um, you know that I put my brows on at night just so they can really bond. And you see I'm still doing... If you saw my first video, I talked about an anxiety thing I do where my brows are never quite even or perfect enough. So, I do this in the morning. You know, I'm just going to be fair with you. This is what I do. Um, so, this is part two where we're really going to make them um, um, makeup ready. Uh, even though right now you could put on your makeup and have the best brows in town right now at this point. While I'm pinning my hair back, um, you guys go ahead and subscribe, please. I, I want to reach so many people. So subscribe, like, share, comment. That is how I'm going to reach the people that need to see this. Because when I was first trying to figure out what to do without a face, because <laughs> I didn't have one, I couldn't find, like, anything just dedicated to Thurn Survivor beauty. I mean, lots of influencers, and thank God they were there, because they taught me a lot of things that I didn't know anymore, because I um, hadn't, you know, really tried new makeup. I was getting older. I was all about just some shadows, some blush, some lipstick, some mascara. So thank God I found those tutorials, but those were very popular people with lots of subscribers and lots of shares. I want to get there. I want people who have a face like this and don't know what to do with no brows, no lashes. I want them to find me. So was that enough? Please subscribe. And so let's take a look. They're all dried in. And really right now you can be done. But I think, you know, the brows are like, everybody's going to tell you brows are sisters, not twins. And that's true even with the lashy brows, the way they lay on your face. So this one lays this way. It's very thick and it goes like this. I love my right eye. It is so Gucci, right? I got a little Walmart over here. So I'm going to, I don't know if I can do it in this mirror. I'm using an Anastasia brow pen in dark brown. And I'm just going to try to emulate this shape by filling in the bottom a little. And then I'm going to use a brow powder. I'm sorry, I need to look a little bit closer. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just... Right here, it needs some. And this is not because of the brows. This is because of your face. And you know, the very first time, if you saw my first video, if you haven't seen it, go look at it. You don't have to watch all 15 minutes, but get through it so you get the idea. Because... I tried microblading twice, and you'll see in my first video that just went out before this one, what that microblading looked like after only three weeks. I probably spent $1,200 between the two different artists, and I have brows that are not, you know, not going to work. I would still have to put pomade on them and deal with them, and... I can't stand doing my brows. That's why I got microblades, right? Or wanted tattoos. I had tattoos. The throw was burned, and it's just the best thing you'll ever have in your life. My skin grafts did not accept the tattoos. I have seen ladies with burned faces, ladies and gentlemen with burned faces, that did get tattoos, and it totally worked, right? Now what I'm covering up, can you see it? There's a little bit of white at the top. And that's from me messing 
with the uh, brows after I put them on. Fortunately, I've learned how to fix it. So I always keep an Anastasia brow pen, and you say, why? Why do all that if you've got the lashy brows? Well, I treat them like my own brows. I want them to be super, super nice. And they're already nice as they come out of the package. That even if your brows are nice, you know, it's the, and they're made of, and they're hair, you're going to fill them in, regardless of how nice they are. So, but a lot of days I don't. Now, if I'm just doing, like, a regular face of hang out for today makeup, you know, I'm not going to do all this to my brows just like you wouldn't. Nobody would. Um, if you have brows. I got this on. Okay, so what I've done is make these look, to me, a lot more matchy-matchy. This is the way I want my brows to look. I'm not even going to use brow powder because I don't want them to darken. You know, doing this is key, and I think it's what a lot of people don't do. And again, you don't have to. Just having them on and applying them properly, you are on fleek. Did was set them last night, you know, glue them on. I didn't cut or anything. I just made sure that my brow started on the inside corner of my eye. Then 45 degree angle, tip of nose to pupil goes to the arch. And then outer eye to tip of nose goes to end of brow. That's how. You know, your brows are right. And make sure they're on your brow bone. Just look at them. It might not line up perfectly for you as a trauma survivor because our faces, if you've had damage to your face, for the longest time I had to wear them closer together because when I put them out here where they should be, oh, it looks so weird. So I'm just taking some Gerard Cosmetics Concealer. Um, I'll put the link below. It's something I buy on Amazon. It's a great, great price. Gerard Cosmetics. And it's um, brow primer and concealer. Sorry, my eyes water. And I'm using a Morphe. This is the Jaclyn Hill collection. It's a J42 brush. I don't know that they have that on Amazon, but this is it's probably a 42 brush anyway you slice it. It's for the arch of your brow for highlighting it. I use it to put my concealer on and then I clean it. I clean all my brushes as I work with NYX on the spot brush cleaner. It dries immediately. So right here, you see, this is my tattoo making this brow look funny. This one looks sharp. This one looks funny. So that's the remnants of my tattoo, and that's what I've got to get in and fix. Now, for you, what you're trying to do is get in and highlight under the brow. You always highlight under your brow, okay? You take your time, small strokes. You do not want makeup in your eyebrow wigs. It is hard to get out. I mean, some makeup, like eyeshadow, is not that bad. So I'm using a downward motion to make sure that I'm not getting up in the hairs. Um, like, eyeshadow is not that terrible, but concealer. Um, this concealer that I'm using, because I think because it's designed as an eye primer and concealer, is not so bad to wash out. But if you use a concealer, that's just standard concealer, very hard to get it out. And it's okay, but I like my brows to be clean at the end of the night so that I can start over tomorrow. These brows are a great price. Um, if you look them up, I'm doing a, a favor for my girl at Last Year Brows because she's been providing me my brows for a long time. I would love to be an affiliate though, because I love these brows. 
and they're the alarm brow company. The thing about these brows is they were the first thing that gave me confidence and made me feel normalized after, um, you know, coming home and, you know, really realizing, like, God, look at my face. You open that arch. And then you're going to do, I'm using just a tiny tad bit of this Gerard Cosmetics on my brush. It looks like that. And that's enough to do the whole eyelid over here. But you definitely want this highlighted line underneath your brow. It looks so pretty. And it's kind of a modern way to go. I am not in love with frosted um, powder or shadow or whatever in the arch of your eye. I don't feel like it looks like a modern look. It makes me think of the 70s. Now, sometimes I will put something frosty in there, but just for, <coughs> pardon me, day to day, keep that frost out your arch, please. You can do it. I'm going to put a powder in it in the end. I'm, I'm going to highlight the arch even more than what this stuff is doing. But I'm going to use a flat matte shadow to do it. So I'm up above it. Okay, be careful here. This one is harder. The top, I'm going to take my time. I don't want it down in that brow. When I say hard, I mean challenging, but perfectly doable. Just take your time and use the right brush. The right brush is everything. I recommend Morphe. They changed my life. I just recently started using Morphe brushes. And I couldn't believe I waited so long. So, that's pretty much it. Your lashy brows are looking good. You don't need to do another thing to them except keep your eyeshadow out of them. Now, I'm, I like to use this um, brow, I mean, uh, lid shadow primer and highlighter right here between my nose. It adds good light. You know, while you're doing it, do it. Because you're going to highlight here anyway. It's going to save you a lot of aggravation. I have some burns right here. From where I'm learning to deal with my... <laughs> short hair. Ugh, burn skin is like... Tissue paper. I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. Just to lighten it. And then I'm going to color it right later. But here's what I want your lashy brows to look like before you do your makeup. And I hope that didn't make it seem complicated to you. Literally, if you just do the video from yesterday and stick those bad boys on, you are done. If you're not into the makeup and you're just wanting to get your lashes on, you're like, darn beauty, what the F? Just go ahead on and stick them on like we did yesterday. They're beautiful. And people will look at you closely and not have any idea that it's not your brows. So, that's it. Eyebrow Wigs 101. Finish it just like you would any other brow by highlighting around it. And... Then I'll be back. I'll see y'all doing some eyeshadow. Love you. Um, remember, subscribe, like, share, comment. It's the best thing you can do for me. I will do anything in the world for you. If you'll do that for me, I love you. Thank y'all so much. And whatever you're going through, please remember that this too shall pass. 
And also that I try to answer my messages. Go to my Instagram, at thernbeauty2018. If you need someone to talk to or have questions, um, it's easier for me to answer you there. Thank you so much. Bye.